So what do you attribute the growth of the team? I think the biggest thing was the enthusiasm of the students. They got involved in it, they saw how much fun it was, they started talking to their friends, those friends started talking to other friends, and it just grew and grew and grew. Why did you start the team? I thought it was a very good opportunity for the students to learn about engineering, about science and math. How has uh, 862 changed since Bosch started supporting the team? Mm -hmm. It's more than just the, the numbers of the students. I think that if I look at the way that you started your project management, uh, learning how to build the robot, your, the, the depth of how you forecast what you need, how you get students uh, mentoring within the team, uh, I think that those infrastructural components actually help you develop a sustainable program. The veterans work with our rookies in the preseason to improve their skills through intense training sessions. These rookies know what helped them learn and refine the system in the following year. Our training just keeps getting better and better. In 2013, our team started mentoring two FTC teams. It is a great experience to teach these FTC kids, knowing they are the future of our own FRC team. My leadership skills have benefited from what I've done as a mentor of the teams and a volunteer at the competitions. I can't wait to go back next year. We started a new workshop for Girl Scouts last year and focused on teaching them about robots and STEM. It was a great experience both for our team members and the 64 girls that attended and has helped us spread the message of FIRST. I am one of the 15 girls that are 120 person teams and even being in the minority, I never stop working hard to become president. I want to show every girl that they have every bit of potential with all the other guys. The 2014 Bloomfield Girls competition was really cool because I was able to break out of my shell and take more leadership positions to be able to contribute to the team and it was one of the biggest adrenaline rushes I've ever had because being able to win the match at the end was so cool. Our team's community service and outreach includes many events such as Relay for Life, United Way Make a Difference Day, APC Fest, Robots in the D, and so much more. We do it not only to make first loud, but to help make a difference. I came back to help mentor Lightning Robotics after I graduated because the team did so much for me in terms of helping develop my engineering and leadership skills that I wanted to be able to provide that same experience to the students that came after me. Leadership. Experience. Dancing. Yeah. Fun. Scholarships. Learning. Motivation. Internships. <laughs> Competition. Impact. Friends. Food. Uh, robots. Duh.